We are here at owners meetings and I am joined by Titans general manager John Robinson. John, we've seen the first wave of free agency pass. Are you pleased with what you were able to accomplish within that first wave? Yeah, I mean, we're certainly excited to, to keep several of our, of our own around, um, whether it's long-term deals like, you know, Ben and, and Harold or, or short, shorter term deals, you know, one year uh, type deals with, you know, Ola, uh, Hilliard, Dylan Cole, some of those guys. So excited to have those guys back. They know what we're about. They know our, um, you know, our culture. And then adding, um, you know, Robert and, and Austin both offensively. Uh, Robert via trade, and um, and Austin, you know, after the the Browns released him, able to add him to the to the mix. Uh, I'm excited to watch those guys. It really seems like there was a premium put on keeping your own and really getting the band back together. Why this season more than maybe ever before was that so important to you? Well, I mean, I think those guys know what, what we're about. They know what uh, we want our football team to look like. Uh, they understand the culture. They, they know what's expected of them. And, um, you know, it was important for us to, to keep those guys here and keep working with them. Harold Landry is someone who's been so consistent throughout his time with the Tennessee Titans. What are you hoping to see from him as he continues to grow with this team? I continue to be productive for us, continue to make plays. Um, you know, he's a leader on the field, he's a leader off the field, works extremely hard at his craft. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that Harold does maybe throughout the course of a game that may not get noticed in the stat sheet, um, but it, it benefits uh, his teammates um, so that they can, you know, have statistical production. Um, but he does all the things that we ask and he works extremely hard and excited to have him back. Ben Jones is another guy who's a real foundation guy, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Why is that so important to have, not only on the field to help the offense, but also in the locker room? Yeah, Ben's a glue guy. You know, he keeps guys together. Um, his teammates really respect him. Um, he's liked by all, you know, the special teams guys, by the offensive guys, by the defensive guys. Uh, extremely intelligent football player, you know, being able to make all the calls, make all the checks, uh, get us in the right protections on passing downs. Um, IDing the right people in the run game so that we can block the guys we're supposed to. Just a real important position for us and glad he's back. Robert Woods is someone who we've seen put up great numbers throughout his career. He still has a lot left to show. Why is he such a good fit for this Titans offense? Well, I think you can see him do all the things that we w we're, we're going to ask him to do. You know, when I talked to him on the phone, uh, after I'd gotten permission from, from the Rams there, and I told him, I was like, there's three things that you got to do. You got to get open, you got to catch and block. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit more difficult than that at the pro level, uh, but he's an aggressive player. Um, he likes throwing his, his hat in there and, and creating uh, run lanes for the backs. Uh, he runs the type of routes stylistically the way we want him run. Um, and he's got really good catch skills and strong with the ball in his hands. Austin Hooper is another guy who has the pedigree. He has the Pro Bowls, but there's still a lot that he can contribute here. He still has more to give to this Tennessee Titans. He does, and he's excited about the opportunity. It was really kind of two different roles. He played one kind of role in, in, in Atlanta, and then when he went to Cleveland, it was a little bit of a different role, and we kind of want to blend those things. You know, you could see the blocking elements in the Cleveland stuff. You could see the pass catching elements uh, really in the Atlanta stuff. Uh, and, and we told him, it was like, we want, we want to blend both of those roles um, and try to make you a complete player for us. And uh, I, we know that you know what, uh, what we're about. Him and Kevin Hogan have a great relationship. Um, we had a great phone call with him, Mike and I, and uh, excited to get him in here and, and, and work with him. They have all talked about the culture, how they wanted to be a part of this locker room. They wanted to play for Mike Vrabel. They wanted to be a part of the organization. I know when you took this role six years ago, that was what you wanted to establish here in Tennessee. It's not just about the wins. People want to be involved in this ball club mm -hmm. because it's bigger than that. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's important. I think that that's, uh, you, you want to surround yourself with like-minded individuals, guys that, that care about their teammates, guys that are passionate about football, uh, guys that are passionate about Titans football. We got a ton of those guys in the locker room. Uh, we had some when I first got here. Uh, we've added a ton over the course of, of six years here, and uh, we're going to continue to build it that way. That's, that's what I believe in. That's what Mike believes in. That's what Amy believes in. Um, and that's what we want her football team to look like. Everyone's also talked about wanting to be in Nashville. Does it help you at all that Nashville's kind of a cool place to be right now? It's kind of an it city. I mean, there's, I mean, the, there's no state tax. It's a cool city. You've got You've got the music scene, you've got the hockey scene, you've got, uh, it's a great, um, the education systems are outstanding, great place to raise a family. So uh, that certainly bodes well in our favor that we've got good climate, uh, good culture, and, uh, and good food, good music. All this talk about free agency, but 
The draft is also coming up. It's right around the corner. You've got pre-draft visits. You've had pro days that you're rolling through. How in the world does John Robinson keep all of those plates spinning at once? Well, I mean, it's, uh, we've got a great staff. It's a great scouting staff, and uh, uh, those guys are out on the road uh, going to pro days, meeting with these guys. We've, you know, we've kind of put our coaches out too. Um, they're going and visiting with those guys. I've been able to make a few. Uh, Mike's been able to make a couple. Uh, we'll get back to Nashville as these things kind of wind down. We'll try to get all that information culminated uh, and then start to make decisions. How much are you itching to get guys back on the football field? Well, I am, but I'm also reminding myself and our coaching staff that we don't play till September. And, and the, team will, it, the team won't be complete until we get there. You know, that's, that's part of the roster process. You know, we got to go through preseason. We got to go through training camp. Uh, there's going to be waiver claims. There could be potential trades that come up. You know, you're constantly looking at ways to try to improve your uh, improve your football team. Uh, and hopefully, the you know when the when the product uh, that takes the field in September, uh, hopefully we're ready to compete. John Robinson, thank you so much. For Always your time. a pleasure. Thanks, Amy.